Hello and good morning. It's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. So today's very short video is just a quick video on storing and organizing your handmade cards along with envelopes and stamps. This will absolutely help you stay organized and be able to um, grab the cards that you need very quickly and get them out to those that you're sending them to. Let's go ahead and talk about how I set up my card organization. And these are for cards that I've made. This is not for all the card making supplies. That would be a completely different video. So the first thing that I noticed when I started making cards is I have a plethora of envelopes and normally I do store the envelopes in the package uh, these little sleeves with the card itself but sometimes I don't do that I just kind of keep the envelopes to the side it really kind of depends on if I have a color to go with this particular card so for instance I could choose to use a white envelope to go with this card or like a peachy color to go. And I keep my cards that I've made in these A2 sized plastic sleeves. Now you can buy these plastic sleeves at Amazon, you can buy them at Walmart, I think near the jewelry stuff. You can buy them at Michaels. I tend to just buy a package when I go to Michaels. But what I do is uh, as soon as I get my card made and into the packaging, then I like to slide in a uh, slide in an envelope and then I pull the little tape off and seal. So this is a complete card ready to go. The only thing that it's missing is a stamp. And sometimes I will, um, put stamps onto the envelopes before putting them into the bags. I mostly do that with happy birthday and thank you cards because those are the ones that I send the most. The other thing about stamps would be ones like this are the special non-machinable stamps. So you would need to purchase these inside of your post office they are more expensive. I think they're about a dollar eighteen ish, um, and unless they've changed the pricing, and these are for ones that are very embellished. They they have a lot of loft to them, and and or I do not want them to go through the automatic machine system. I would like them to be hand um, sorted, and that just protects the card. So. I keep my stamps in a plastic sleeve as well. I keep a stack of extra envelopes. Um, one more thing about envelopes is you can see that I have a variety of sizes. So a regular A2 size envelope is perfect for these sleeves. But if I have an envelope that is wider than the sleeve, obviously that will not fit. So I have to have a place for those. Okay, so we've talked about envelopes, we've talked about stamps, and we've talked about storing the finished cards with their envelope in a uh, A2 sleeve to keep it clean and dry until it's ready to use. You could also uh, mail them, like you could either use a larger envelope and just stick the plastic sleeved card in that larger envelope. And I know some people have actually uh, left the card like this and then used the plastic sleeve as the envelope itself. I'm not sure that I trust that, but that is a potential idea. Okay, so how I store them is, actually let me zoom out for you just a bit. Okay, so how I store my cards is I have one of these plastic bins. Now I think this particular plastic bin is uh, the Home Edit brand and I just picked it up at Walmart. 
either that or it is interdesign. I cannot remember, but it's just one of these plastic bins that you see everywhere. I know you can get them at Walmart, Target, Amazon. Um, you could order them direct from the companies. And then I have all of my cards in here. And what I like about this is one, it keeps me um, organized. I also can see how many I have of each category. I can see when categories need cards to be made. And I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. But it's just, a, it's a perfect size. So what I did is I basically sorted my cards into categories and then of course I looked up greeting card categories because I wanted to make sure I hadn't missed a category that oh yeah I make those cards and I need a tab for that and then I used my Cricut to make these now these right here are just craft board uh, I tend to buy the Cricut brand, it's a craft board sampler pack, and I think there's 10 sheets. There is this brown color, there's black, and there's white. So it's like 30 sheets of craft board. And I wanna say they're about $10 for the package. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll just link all of that down below in the description in case you feel like checking that out. And then I have my Cricut cut out the um, little divider and I also have it write for me what the topic is for the greeting court card category. And I can get about three of these on one sheet of craft board, which is 12 by 12. So at 30 sheets, three a piece, that's like 90 categories. I'm not sure that I have 90 categories. So the other thing that I like about having these is, and this is a good example, is I had a few anniversary cards and I didn't have any wedding ones, but I had some anniversary cards and I've actually already used them. So typically what I do is I make the, the divider tabs and I store my cards. And then when a category is empty, I take the category divider tab out of the box and I just place it to the side and I know then that I have to make cards for that category. And then I can just do that, put them all back in and they're nice and safe. The other thing is if I make cards like I've done here recently, I've made about 15 cards this past week and so I have, like I have some here. I, you're a treasure to me, you're amazing, simply you're the best. These are just some scrap buster cards that I made. And I decided that I needed a divider that says affirmations. So I'm just gonna put a little sticky note here that says affirmations and I will keep them in the box until I have a few minutes to make some more tabs. And then you can see I have one specifically that says friend okay and then this one i felt like this one was kind of an encouragement card in in a way i don't know if i'm sold on that category but there it is and so i just put a sticky note and i i didn't even have a miss you category i love miss you cards they're great but i didn't have a divider for that. So this is how I store my cards. I just keep them in this box. I have the divider for each category. I take the divider out when I know that I need a card. And then that way I know which ones I need to work on. And then in the very back, in the very back, I have two particular dividers and one says stamps. And this is actually where I will literally, I will purchase uh, books of stamps and then I'll just keep them here. And then this is where I house extra envelopes at the very back. And they just go right in there, nice and neat and ready to go. 
this quick video I hope was inspiring and informative to you. I hope that you kind of got an idea about how you can store and organize your beautifully made cards, the envelopes and stamps that you need to send them. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your crafty friends. And until I see you in my next video, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.